Ten and three. Shall we just push this pawn support in? Let's take now. Let's develop the knight. It's ten and three. We don't need to move so fast. But we feel like we're fairly familiar with this type of position. Shall we go for the exchange with the bishops and get the knight involved? So they're moving very quickly. Could move the bishop here. Looks like he wants to get rid of all the bishops. Doesn't. Okay, let's castle. And just bring the rook through. Looks like he's not interested in the bishop. Oh no, he's one of them. Knight's protecting this square, so I'm not sure what the queen thinks it's doing. Uh, oh, they're just giving up pieces. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, I think this is a bit extreme. I don't think you can win any major advantages here. Unless of course, no, I don't see it. I don't see it. They've just given pieces up for nothing. All right, that's a silly game. Queen's got a check. Maybe they've got something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just bring the king here. You can never doubt. Oh, look at that. He's in. Let's just protect. And attack the knights and attack the queen with the bishop. They're doing something. Proposes a take back if they got a checkmate on me or something. Um, I'm going to say no because if I've made a mistake, then fair enough, I'll, I'll wear it if they've got a checkmate on me. And they've left the game. Yeah, that was a bit silly. Okay, we've got a 10 and 3. Ooh, what's happening here? Strange looking type of situation. Shall we copy it for a second? King side opening and boom. We could just nice and steady support the pawn. Is there some sort of fool's mate looking thing going on? Let's go here. It's like they're considering it. Hmm. <clears throat> Got a call. Let's get the night up. fast enough to get castled. Let's just attack their knight. Oh, we can't castle. Damn, silly me. <laughs> Let's hit the bishop. I think one of many key things you find with chess is let's put a check on here sometimes it's not as difficult as you think it is we we tend to make it more difficult for ourselves so still on the bishop we're attacking which is really strange because when you're in your openings you're feeling confident you you make that first step your second step and you're feeling fairly comfortable that you're doing the right moves and so does the opponent 
So there's a few things happening here at the minute, but he's going to be wanting to move his bishop at some point. He's given us things to think about. I think our king's going to take, but he's, he can simply support the pawn here. Is the timing going to be working for them in that sense? So the queen takes, are we still going to be able to get this pawn? So then it looks like there might be a pawn down after all of that because they're going to have to move their bishop at some point. But they'll be able to attack ours, but our bishop is protecting this pawn at the moment. Something like that. That's what I'm kind of seeing quickly and it can change just like that because we never know what the opponent's going to do. Smaller piece again attacking, so he's still got that under threat. Let's take the queen off the board. So we, oh, and we, they worked it all out, didn't they? Because we said we were going to end up winning this pawn. This castle, <clears throat> they worked it all out. Hmm. Hmm. Miraculously, they worked it all out. Just gonna jump in here. Although I've not really sorted my bed out, have I with the knight and the bishop? They're still a little bit on the back. They're doing some more clever working out. There's no more advantage for me. I'm in a disadvantage at the minute. Knight's not out. Bishop's got no space. Probably bring the bishop here. Then at least we can get the knight to this square. It's going. F he's activating his knight. Um, yeah. So if we take, he activates his knight. But his knight can't come here. So I think that might be a better thing for us. And do what we said because we're jammed in so we need to get this activated somehow probably more this side okay right so they're not interested in that so we could just bring the knight here attacking the rook obviously you can just attack it again so we just continue with the knight yep let's continue with the knight very bad bishop And again master planning and so we said we we're going to bring the knight here it's got potential for getting to here to get into here but this knight is guarding this square is there credence in coming this way here gives the bishops more bishop more option could come here attacking this pawn twice shall we give that a bit of consideration And that's that novation mode thing again. Ah, oh, you see, he's stopping that. They see everything. We do not like this player. This player is, um, let's just go in. Let's go in. Ah, oh, he's had enough now, he's had enough. Wants to move his knight, but this pawn is being attacked. Okay, white square bishop. How do we put bring it to life? Knight, 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 knight attacking the rook. Rooks haven't got any space yet at all to attack anything. Good attack takes, takes. Oh, he just pushes down. I think he will push down. So I'm actually going to block the pawn. Block the scud missile. Saving this, he's coming for this, maybe this. Just push this pawn while they Oh, pawn. oh, the bishop's got it. Woo -hoo. So now the rook's defending, so the knight. You could tell he was having a heart attack over this knight having to protect this pawn. It's just a bit unlucky that this. Let's get the rook in the center now. That might be the champion move, but uh, we'll see. 
poor white square bishop all jammed in could bring it here look to see if we can lock this down a bit if the knight takes because it's so very bad What's the master stroke? No, 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 some of this business, pawn, pawn, pawn. No, it's definitely activating the, the knight somehow. Rooks come down, interesting times. Oh, it's stopping the magic square, isn't it? Look at it, they're just spotting everything. I feel like I'm playing a computer. Let's just bring this bishop here, like we said. Every little possible type thing we can potentially do is just jamming it all down. So this knight, it wants to do something with this knight. Taking here shouldn't hurt, should it? It's a nice position for our knight. They're just looking to see if they can get it off the board. Probably this is going to come soon. No, he's not wearing any of them. So he's wanting to champion on this file because this is going to be the only open file with the rooks. So if we can get ours placed here before them, that might stand us in good stead. What did we say? This knight's going to be championing this um, knight here. So we don't need to take, we can push up and push across. If they take, then the bishop can take. So attacking the rook, then it can sit here and be a bit of an annoyance. It's not actually attack the knight, but it's making space. Um, do, do, do. It's not gonna come around here. Da, 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 da. Rook's in the center, let's do what we said. Just get the rooks doubled up. Pawns nicely defending here. Has he not just come from there? All right, so he's just going backwards and forwards. Now he decides to go for the knight here. Oh no, he's going for he's doing draw move type thing. So now we've got the rooks here, could we consider something, what can we consider, anything funky at all? Bringing the knight back around, got pressure on the knight, get the bishop here, attacking. I think we're going to do that. Change the state of play, as they would say, let's attack the rook. Get the bishop to this position and then bring the knight back around again, something like that. Trying to make the bad bishop a good bishop. Let's bring the bishop here. If we get time, we can put a check on the king. Attacking the pawn, but the knight's defending at the minute. Uh, and this knight is defending as well. So we're trying to fight against the draw, but it might just be a simply a draw. Or they might have something better. The rook has just moved a little bit further away. I'm going to put the check on, like we said. If I overexert, um, it might not be a draw and it, I might mess it all up. So the bishop in theory can take, but then his rook can take and then he's doubled up in front. So I don't think the bishop really wants to take. So that's where it probably becomes draw land. I do feel like I'm playing a computer though. I mean, these, <laughs> um, we have no way in. Rook's defending here. Bishop could attack the rook. Rook just comes here and go backwards and forwards. So it would be a draw. We have no material advantage. 
Is it a night move again? Some back again? This way? Don't think that makes much difference. Here to here. But obviously he's just going to drop his pawn there, isn't he? Don't think it helps our case, does it really? Yeah, could have like one, two, three. Well, we take, but he's got that knight. Damn, because he's got the x ray through, he can't take up this one. If we come back, I'm going to come back and try one, and then we'll probably just go for repetitions if we can't get him. still just going to end up in the same spot isn't it <laughs> oh no no it's got protection here it's not got protection there because the knight can take so attack if he doesn't move the oh what is attacking the bishop if we went there he takes pawn takes we've got like three pieces on this knight He's got three pieces protecting. If we come back up with the knight because we're attacking this pawn. Mm, but does he take just to confuse the situation? No, he's not. It's a draw, isn't it? I think overextending anyway is going to cause me some pain. If we look at the evaluation afterwards on this one and we're winning, I'm going to kick myself. One, two. So for the draw, I will take the draw and I'm going to look at the analysis and see what he's saying. Oh, man, we're winning. No, I think I'm okay with that. I would have probably tried to stretch it out somehow and see what other risk, what movements we could have made. But yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Good stuff. Block the pawn. Let's develop the knight. Develop the bishop. Just push the pawn, supporting the bishop, supporting the pawn. X ray through and through. Okay, let's go here. Castle. So what do we have? It's got a discover type maneuver type thing looking to get the bishop for free situation. Might even drop in here, but that might be might be wrong because we can take the bishop with a check so he's gone that way so he's pretty safe we'll take with the check bring the queen up attacking the knight on the stealth sometimes they forget which they have done this pawn can protect the rook is going to spend time defending and grabbing the bishop maybe so we can get the knight or if he doesn't we just moved the bishop out of the way and we would have got a free piece. Looks like they've kind of realised now that the queen is going to be taking the knight for free. Or the bishop has just taken the bishop for free if he moves the knight. And they have moved the knight. Um, that's a good strike actually because he's attacking both pieces. Yeah, that's a, that's a good strike. So it's just a bishop for a bishop after all that. Queen can come here, but I can't defend because he's got two pieces on there. That's way clever. That's way clever. It really is. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing a computer again. Yeah, that, that's a bit... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Something's hurting in my head. I don't have a check on his king at all, do I? Uh, queen coming here. Is there any points? Queen coming here. I mean, he's got this pawn as well, but I think... Um, yeah, if we come here, then we're defending this pawn. Yeah, 
let's do that. That's that's very clever. Mm. Advanced thinking that was. Yeah, that's a bit surreal. Yes, I feel like I'm playing a computer. Let's bring the knight here and attack the rook. See if we can make them make any more errors. <laughs> That's twice I felt like I played a com played a computer. I think in the previous game as well. It's just from the style of the move. It just didn't didn't feel like a human move to me anyway. You know, just from my experience. I think the only way you can tell is by playing against computers and I have played against many computers I've played against Stockfish for many 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 years so I kind of understand how the computers move and that's why I, I feel confident that I can kind of gauge whether I'm playing a computer move or a human move it's not 100% proof but it's for me it's a high percentage of the time to take the rook so now they obviously I'm recording so they can't hear me but um, now they're playing it down a, bit, a little bit right but he's going to have his knight in front of our king area so it's not that clear should we be looking to get the queen off the board somehow shall we move the queen back Or do we do a pawn move just to stop the knight from jumping in here? Just do a small pawn move first. Could go for checks, but it's just going to chase the queen down. We could take the pawn. Oh, it's got that knight coming in. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that, did I? Let's put the check on the king. Tap the knight, but what can you do? All right, so come across again, attacking the pawn, and then attack the knight. Then attack the knight. We don't have any open files for the rooks and the rooks that's their power base so we they'll be supporting this so maybe we need to be supporting getting the rook this is a semi pass palm and he's got a flexible knight which could be a bit of a problem for us Okay, let's just go one at a time. Simple, basic, blocking the pawn. As we said, always going to be doing that. Do we waste our time going behind? Yes, we do, because we're going to be touching on here. And we need this rook behind if they do drop. So he's going to want to get his knight activated somehow to get into the game. Simple chess, focus nice and steadily. The opponent comes out with some good moves. They did a few bad moves 
just after doing that lovely night move he's offered a draw it probably is but we'll keep going on for a bit and see so going to bring the rook like we said and just see so now it's for us to prove that it's not a draw because we've declined the draw yeah so he's always coming for that because he wants to stop this pawn from attacking this pawn and if we take then his knight gets involved in the game here but if he did, if his knight goes dead then we do have a fork so i think he'll take with the pawn so let's take let's attack for a little bit of a check on the king I'm sure that our king can go to safety either on the edge or here it's the picture I'm seeing in my head it's not guaranteed because we go here then his rook comes and puts a check maybe we come here this knight's not going to come here because we can take yep so let's move the king so that's where I saw up to within my own calculation in my head that's why I've moved a bit quick. Whether it's right or wrong, it feels fairly okay at the minute, but the knight is going to be wanting to get into the game, so we need to push this pawn here. Yeah, exactly. And do we need to rush to do that? Because we could go here and take the pawn with the rook defending the pawn, but it doesn't have a fork per se on there. So I think that's probably going to be better than the pawn push here. So we can look to trade down if we're wanting to do this um, situation. Try and simple, keep it simple, I suppose. Just don't trust knights whatsoever. I mean, he can come here and attack. Oh, I nearly dozed off then with my eyes wide open. Okay, what's happening in this? <laughs> that was surreal. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so they do take, so there must be some fancy continuation I have totally missed. King can just go and block that, can't it? But I bet he's looking for some fork business. No. Could take. No, I can't take. What am I missing? Just come up. Delicate operations. So that's the only check I really. And the queen, the king, sorry. Let's push this pawn while we're thinking. Just get this up here. Rook is defended. Let's bring here. Oh, is he coming down? Not yet. So we could take, knight takes, king takes. King can't come down for that, so we have to go back and come up. So that's a proper like pawn ending type thing. We'll just go here with a check on the king, get the rook off the board. In fact, that's what I could have done. <laughs> just noticed it now, so special. 
Oh, I tell you, I am asleep with my eyes wide open. Yeah, he's gone now, look. <laughs> oh, I see it. So we can get the pawn off the board, but I'm just wondering if we do go here, is there a four? No, I don't think there is, but we could have got the knight off the ball for free. <laughs> Staring at the screen and not actually paying any attention. That's what happens over the board as well, though. You know, you can sit there and stare at it and you think you're calculating. And then you get this fuzzy, zoned out feel in your head. And that's what also generates the devil finger. You know, you think you've done all the calculation, you spent a long time overthinking, and then your brain says to yourself, I think we've got it. We're done. We've spent enough time doing it, but you haven't actually calculated the final position or agreed the final position with yourself. All you've done is said, well, I've spent a lot of time over this now. That's it. And you've not really done a proper full on. What's he doing? Okay, so if we take the pawn... Where's the fork? Take the pawn. Put on the knight. It's not going to come here because it's going to get taken. So he either comes here or comes here. It's not going up there. It's not going up there. So just take the pawn. So now the knight is under threat. Like we said, down. Oh, they've resigned. Excellent, okay. So nice that we continued on uh, from the draw request. That's a really quite good game. Nice one.